Hi, I'm Ala Chumachenko, PhD in economics, and this is my video introduction to economics. You already know much economics. You know that every decision has an implication, that owning more financial resources is better than owning less, that even if you are rich or somebody, you are less rich than you want to be. Certainly, you have a lot of economic experience that you had got during your entire life. The only thing you don't have yet is a systematic way of understanding of economic ideas. First of all, I would like to show you the difference between words economy and economics, because it's very important not to confuse these words. The word economy comes from two Greek words. Oikos means house and mimian means manage. Therefore, economy means household management. The Economicus by Xenophon is the earliest work in economics in its original sense, date back to 400 first BC. It describes a dialogue between Socrates and Critobolus about, among other things, those methods of training and ruling slaves that help to be a good householder. Households were the main subject of economic relations in the ancient world. That's why the word economicus was so correct. By the time, enterprises, organizations, governments have received an equal role in the economy. Nevertheless, the word economy is still in usage, but with wider sense. So what's mean economy today? According to James Paul, an economy is a social span that emphasizes practices, discourses, and material expression associated with the production, consumption, and distribution. According to Oxford Loner's Dictionary, an economy is the relationship between the production, trade, and supply of money in the particular country or region. An economy is the large set of interrelated production and consumption activity that helps to determine allocation of scale resources. Therefore, the main points of economy definition are First, an economy includes such subjects of economic relations buyers, sellers, employers, employees, enterprises, financial organizations, and so on. Second, the subjects of economic relations are belong to the particular area, such as country or region. Third, the main processes in an economy are production, distribution, consumption and exchange. Another term that requires definition is economics. Using simple words, it is a part of science directed on investigation and economy. It is hard to determine correctly what economics is, because definition has been changing during the entire history of economic relations. Each stage of economic development brought something new to economics. Many things have changed, such as forms of ownership, role of government in the economy, means of labor, means of transport, quality requirements. That's why each stage of human history has its own definition of economics. For example, Adam Smith defined it as inquiry into nature and causes of wealth of nations. Jean Baptiste C. defined it as the science of production, distribution and consumption. Alfred Marshall defined economics as a study of man in ordinary business of life. It inquires how he gets his profit and how he uses it. Nevertheless, some moments haven't changed, such as necessity of choice. As long as exchange exists, people have been trying to choose an option that is more profitable. Therefore, there is a modern definition of economics. Economics is a study of how individuals, businesses, governments and other organizations make choices that affect allocation and distribution of scarce resources. In other words, it is a study of allocation and use of scarce resources to satisfy unlimited human wants. Thank you for watching my video. 
Next time I'll describe question subject matter of economics. See ya!